Mr. Speaker, I rise today to celebrate the productive life of the Honorable Congressman Edward Ford Weber of Toledo, Ohio, a gifted lawyer and a man for others. Throughout his life and during his congressional service beginning in 1981, he worked hard to serve the people of Northwest Ohio during those tumultuous economic times. He was a gentleman and a veteran dedicated to his family, to our community of Toledo, and to our country. He earned a Phi Beta Kappa from Denison University, was president of his fraternity, and captain of the men's tennis team. He was married to the love of his life, Alice Hammerstrom, for 66 years. They've reared three wonderful children, six grandchildren, and one great-granddaughter. Ed was committed to education and to music as well, and tutored children in reading within the Toledo public school system in some of our most challenged neighborhoods, in addition to the teaching he did at the University of Toledo Law School. Ed practiced law in Toledo for nearly half a century at Marshall Melhorn first, and then eventually founded his own firm and generously kept giving of himself to numerous endeavors to improve Toledo. Our zoo, the Toledo Museum of Art, which is world class, to the Boy Scouts, to the YMCA, to the Toledo Museum of Art, also world class, to the Red Cross, and numerous charitable foundations. He kept giving back through his deep commitment to the people of Toledo and surrounding communities, and we needed him. He understood the impact and importance of civic duty. Today, America salutes Edward Ford Weber for his lifelong, noble, honorable service. We honor and remember his constructive life and the ethic that imbued his spirit. The last time I had the pleasure of seeing him was at the Toledo Club. He had a Wednesday group, and all these guys would meet. They basically uh, had formally retired from their professions, but they really didn't retire from life, and they were having one great time. Our prayers are extended to his loved ones. May they be comforted by the love and memories they hold in their hearts, and may the angels carry their beloved husband, father, and grandfather to a place of peace and joy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back.